I came here with $50 in my pocket, a suitcase full of clothes and some big uh, hopes. And my hope was to create a technology that would benefit mankind. I actually wrote that in my graduate school application. I came from India, from Bangalore, where I grew up. My father was a pioneering electrical engineer in India. Both my sons have also chosen to be electrical engineers. And I've been very fortunate to be married to my wife since 1975. After finishing my graduate studies, I began to work at GE in the area of power semiconductor devices. I came up with a innovation in 1980 called the insulated gate bipolar transistor. The IGBT technology that I developed is used extensively in society for controlling high power levels. Uh, for example, consumer goods like your washing machine, your refrigerator, and so on, and in industry for running robots, uh, for running bullet trains, in the ignition system of everybody's cars, all solar uh, cell uh, energy production and wind power production requires IGBTs to translate that and feed power into the grid. So the combination of these electrical energy savings and gasoline savings to consumers adds up to about $15 trillion across the world. I worked for GE for about 15 years and they rewarded me very well by making me a Coolidge Fellow, which is the highest ranked scientist at a very young age of 35. I needed to take this opportunity to write a book in my field and as soon as it was published it became the book for everybody to use in the field. And my total output has now reached 18 books. GE decided to leave the semiconductor business, but I like to work with my semiconductor devices. And at that time, there were no universities in the United States that were pursuing this research area. So I started a pioneering research activity here at NC State. Having come from that culture where you come up with new ideas and patent them, uh, I found myself driven to find a way to do that. So I built in a patenting mechanism into the Power Semiconductor Research Center. You may have a great idea, but to get it to be a product, you have to overcome all the barriers to commercialization. And that was not possible to do in a university environment because the research we do here and teaching we do cannot really be focused towards the commercialization aspect. So I decided that it would be appropriate to create spin-off companies. I think I made the right career move going f first to industry, understanding all the practical needs of industry and then moving to a university so that I could tailor my program so that my students are extremely well qualified to join the industry and become very productive the day they walk in the door. The other mission of uh, my work at NC State is the teaching mission. And in the teaching area, I perform two functions. One is to work with young graduate students, teach them how to perform the research, guide them through the process. But the other aspect is, of course, teaching in the classroom. And in the classroom, I've had the privilege of teaching a large undergraduate class every year. And this is an electrical engineering class taken by the non-EE majors, which means I have a chance to influence students from across the entire College of Engineering. I started a research center here, an industrial consortium, in 1991 which attracted over 20 companies to participate. And now, more recently, we've uh, been successful in getting a National Science Foundation-sponsored center called Freedom at NCSU. And we have over 40 companies now. We intend to revolutionize the power grid by creating what we call the intelligent grid. It has been uh, very gratifying to see my own profession recognize me. The most wonderful, of course, experience was uh, going to the White House last year and receiving the National Medal of Technology and Innovation. And getting that award in the presence of my family members was just a wonderful, wonderful experience. This is the highest recognition given to an engineer by the United States government. It is something that you hold dearly coming in, as, particularly as an immigrant. As an engineer, your job is to not only create these new things, but to make them useful to society. So for me, the greatest joy is in seeing my innovation actually used by people.